We are assembled here today in the sight of God and in the presence of all of these witnesses that are here to join this man and this woman in marriage. Today is a sacred day and this is a holy moment. We know that it's sacred and we know that it's holy because God uh, approves of the institution of marriage. He performed the very first one. It is in this act that we, in a very real sense, are able to go back in time to the very beginning of the history of mankind and understand the plan that God had when he set things in order. We need to know today that those who take the vows of marriage are brought into the closest and most sacred of all human relationships. The blessings that were long lost in the Garden of Eden can be found again in a marriage, particularly a marriage that is focused on God and focused on Christ. We can find a bit of heaven on earth. In the marriage relationship are found many obligations of the most solemn lasting nature. The husband's under obligation to surround his wife with his loving care and shield her from the storms of life, to cling to her with total loyalty and faithfulness and unfailing affection, to cherish and to love her, to guard her happiness with unceasing vigilance. The wife is under the obligation to love and cherish her husband, to honor and sustain him to be a helper for him, and to likewise offer him her total faithfulness and unfailing affection. The Apostle Paul, inspired by the Holy Spirit, wrote in the book of 1 Corinthians, a grand definition of love. And I want today to, to read that definition to you, and I want you each to repeat after me as I read that. Love is patient. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not envy. It does not boast. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil. Love does, does not delight in evil. But rejoices with the truth. But rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always, always protects. protects. Always trusts. Always trusts. Always hopes. Always hopes. Always perseveres. Always perseveres. Love never fails. Love never fails. It is in the name of Jesus Christ that I now pronounce you husband Ladies and gentlemen, it is my high honor to introduce to you today Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Pike. <laughs> 